Hello, it's been uh, quite a while. The last time I was making a video to YouTube. So yeah, it's a whole new week. 1st of May, it's 2 p.m. and I'm heading to Songsu, which is this super cool and trendy area full of cafes and pop-ups. I'll show you when we get there. I don't know, that might not fit to my head that well. Here's some feed pics for you guys. That was pretty random. Like what I've noticed here so far is that Seoul is full of these pop-ups. There's like random stuff just like that. Just like the huge human sculpture. You go there and they're promoting something and then you might see something crazy. And then you take a couple of photos and then you're done. But yeah, now I've seen a pop-up. I can tick that off my to-do list for today. No, there's another pop-up I missed, I guess. Because that would have sound really nice. Mosquito murderers. And there's another pop-up. Look at that. Looks like a shoebox. Okay, maybe I'll go there. I think all the people are queuing for the claw machine that's over there. I want to try it too. I feel lucky today. Okay, here we go. Did we get something? Yay! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! I want a sticker bag! I think the main price was a pair of shoes or shoelaces or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I guess across the street there's another pop-up for us. Let's get in. Okay, I think uh, three pop-ups are enough for this day. And I'm really surprised that I didn't buy anything. Even though I went through three different pop-ups. I think that the most important part about pop-ups is that you go there and you make sure everybody knows that you've been there. Just like I'm doing right now. Now I'm thinking of going to a cafe. And there's a lot of cafes like I mentioned. And it's gonna be bad for my health. Because I want to go to all the pretty cafes. And that means like consuming a lot of coffee as well. I think I might not be sleeping tonight. But we'll see about that. But yeah, let's go to a cafe and uh, edit some videos. That was a pretty nice cafe, but unfortunately uh, the battery for my laptop ran out. What a shame. I think I'll finish the video back home today. And when I say this, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen. Now I'm thinking of going to an Italian restaurant for early dinner. So yet again, there was a huge line for the restaurant. But I'm so glad that they have the waiting list. You just put your number there and uh, then you get a text message to your phone, which tells you like how much you have to wait. So I might just uh, hang out here for a little and if the waiting list doesn't get shorter, I'll just go home, but... I think it's been a good day so far. And it's so nice to see a lot of people around here in Seoul Forest having their picnics. Definitely had to come here for a picnic as well someday. Okay, at least they have an authentic pizza oven, so that looks promising. Okay, here we have it. Looks pretty good. They even have some uh, Italian beer here. I can recommend. But now I think I'll just head back home, either with a bus or by walking. I think this solo mission has been completed for today. Three pop-ups, one cafe and uh, one really good pizza. Look at this river. I love those little bridges over there. Those would be illegal in Finland. That wasn't too bad. It's 8.30 or something. It's the very first time I'm here so early. Okay, now heading to school. Let's see if the t-shirt is enough. It's only like the first weeks of May and it's already summer. Let's get some ice latte. I've never drank this much takeout coffees. 
Yeah, this is like one of my morning routines. Every day before going to class, I grab an iced latte, chilling here, watching people go to class and all that, observing the situation. The Korean language class is it's quite difficult for me, I think. The teaching is going so fast. This is not my favorite class, let's put it that way. Now a 15 minute break and then we're off to the next class, which is over there on top of the hill. Okay, done for the classes. Let's grab some lunch. There's a lot of different uh, restaurants and uh, like there's everything in the campus. You, I think you can basically live here. You don't need to go home ever. I think I drink like three coffees a day at least. And now heading for the last class of today. Let's go. I'm done for the school now. Let's make a little snack. We're gonna have some uh, noodles. Of course, we have a guitar here. It wouldn't be a hostel without an acoustic guitar, you know? You know what I'm gonna play. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Okay, that was pretty fun. I didn't want to take any video from there that much, you know, because I don't think the others want to be in the video, but... Uh, and also sometimes things feel cooler than they actually look. Maybe it's better this way that I don't have any video of me dancing. Usually there might be times when I don't feel like going to the gym or going to the dance class, but I really regret it that I go to a dance class or go to the gym. The feeling afterwards is so nice. Now I'm getting some food from my... maybe one of the favorite restaurants here. There we go. Yay, got my favorite Korean food, meaning the Mexican tacos. Okay, let's get it then. I really look like a potato in the mornings, look at me. Oh my god. I'm actually pretty early. I'm gonna grab some coffee. Oh, what a surprise. Yeah, today two classes and uh, then I might go to a cafe. Wow, what a surprise, again. So how did you like uh, how did you like Korean class today? Uh, very good, very good. It's good to be back, you know. Yeah, maybe next time we'll get an honest reaction. Now we're going to a cafe in Hongdae, and the trip is like a 50 minutes or something. It's a good way to procrastinate because I could go to a cafe nearby here, but uh, no, it has to be a 50 minute trip. Perfect. Let's edit this video right now. There we go. Now the video is edited and now I just have to do the rest of the stuff. I had to export the video and upload it to YouTube and all that, you know. But yeah, the hardest and the longest part has been done, so. I have to say this day has been exhausting. I was at the cafe for like, I don't know, five hours, four hours. I think I'll take a little walk now in Hongdae and maybe some dinner. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's quite peaceful here because it's only 6 or 7 p.m. But during nighttime, these club streets in Hongdae, they go really crazy. I think I'll pay a visit to a nice cute little bar I found last week to have one relaxing after work drink. Quite interesting way to give the drink. Done with the school for today and uh, I guess I'm, uh, I was a bit laid back today. I'm really waiting for the weekend. But yeah, I, was, uh, I just went to class with my flip-flops. I'm glad that they don't have a dress code here because otherwise I think I would have been kicked out. And I also went to the gym today and forgot to take my trainers with me. How did this happen, man? It's uh, 20 minutes past 6 a.m. Apparently I'm going on a day trip. What's the vibe? I'm, I'm tired. It's fucking raining. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Why are we awake in the 6 in the morning? That French dude in the front seat, he gaslighted us to join. It better be a good trip, man. I think we're gonna meet some new friends. We're gonna get out of a bit of soul and cocoa. What do you think of this side quest so far we're doing right now? Uh, so now we're going to a museum. Uh, she didn't tell us what kind of a museum it is. I don't really know. 
I'm thinking maybe we just go take a nap on the bus. Yeah, you were talking about the bus. Like that was. I super... really fucking like the bus. The bus is amazing. It's so comfortable. Is that your favorite part so far? Definitely my favorite part of the trip so far is the bus. I don't know. I just feel at feel at home at the bus for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, this is definitely one of the weirdest uh, side quests I've been doing so far. Like, and also the first one, like outside Seoul with random people. What are we doing? Going to the temple. What's the can you can you like uh, wrap up the situation we're having here? Okay, so we have arrived at our accommodation, I suppose you can call it, which is four houses for like how many people? 80? 90? Hundred? Nah, maybe maybe fifty. We have a small house and we're sixteen people sleeping there. Where are we sleeping? On the floor, of course. What do you think? We have the we have a blanket. Yes, we do have a blanket. We do have a blanket. I didn't get a pillow. Did you get a pillow? Yeah, I did. We'll just get the barbecue going now and uh, hopefully we'll cheer up. And uh, I think we're getting up in about ten hours, so it's not gonna be that bad, right? Yeah, that's true. We're going up seven a.m. I guess we'll just fucking drink ourselves to sleep. Right? Let's say that uh, last night was an experience. Luckily I managed to get some sleep. We didn't stay at the party house which is down there. And all of us slept on the floor with these little mats. A little bit painful from time to time, but uh, after consuming a couple of beers, um, I think every single thing uh, can be a bed. Hello, good morning for everyone. Okay, so we're at the cultural center. It's supposed to be full of Korean culture. It's this, and we're trying to get into a tea ceremony. What time are we leaving? 10.30. Yeah, and when's the first tea ceremony? It's 10.30. That's amazing, man. How'd you like last night? How's the experience been so far? Please don't need the microphone. Okay, so this amazing adventure has taken an uh, unexpected turn. Uh, we're finding our way back to Seoul because we don't want to come back at 9 like it was initially planned. So we're hopping on a taxi right now to the nearest train station in the hope of finding a train to Seoul. I'm pretty fucking excited to be honest. I haven't been this glad in days, man. I'm really happy to be on my way away from this fucking festival. It was a three hour walk parade we're gonna do tonight. In it's not rain. happening. In the in the With pouring rain. It's raining cats and dogs. It feels like a backpacking trip now. I thought that the train station was under construction and I almost had a heart attack. Maybe that would be the easiest way out. So, like we thought, the KTX, the bullet train, was uh, sold out. So now we're heading to the bus station. After two taxis, uh, one trip to the train station, uh, we're finally at the bus station now and we got the tickets. I think I'll, I'll be more grateful about my little goblin cave back at our hostel now. And yeah, now we're grabbing some lunch with the boys and this has been an experience, for real. And now this additional adventure we're having here is kind of fun, I think. The bus will leave in one hour and after three hours or something we'll be back in Seoul. I think we should do this more often, that you book a trip, go there, and then all of a sudden you just dip. Like go, go in the middle of nowhere and then try to find your way back home, <laughs> like on your own. It's been quite a ride, I have to say. Anything you want to share? No, excited to come home. It was worth the adventure, I, I guess. It was not as expected, as fun as expected, but we made some new friends, so. Can't wait to hop on the bus and uh, maybe crack open a cold one and... Uh... You're not gonna crack open a cold one. Why wouldn't I crack open a cold one? Why not? I crack open a fucking, like, medium temp bottle of soju, maybe? <laughs> you won't believe how happy I am to be in this bus right now. Here we are, back at the rooftop. I'm so happy to be here. You know, you, sometimes you have to go far to see near. Sometimes in life, you only learn to appreciate the things you don't have anymore. Be grateful what you have. If we were to stay there, we would have been back at around 10 p.m. And now it's like 6 or something. So we get to celebrate our friend's birthday. We're gonna have some dinner here at the rooftop and then we'll probably go to a karaoke. So it's a fun night ahead.
Okay, it's the birthday party about to begin and now we have a wine tasting. We have this kind of wine, not sure how much was it, but let's go. Let's. Is it the worst or the best wine ever? Wow, it's actually pretty drinkable, man. So what we're doing right now is gonna go sing some karaoke. It's what they call Nuribang here in Korea, I think. I think it's called Nuribang, I'm not sure. Yogi Ezo Nuribang, Kayo. Good morning. I think we sang some karaoke yesterday. What are we gonna do now? Oh, you can eat barbecue! That was a nice place. Too bad I wasn't that hungry, but it was like an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. People definitely try to eat as much as possible. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite places. I always go here for a Sunday stroll. Now I'll head back to our Goshi one grab my tea money card and then I'll take the bus to a cafe. Friends are studying there, so I'll join them. Okay, so now we're having a burger moment. I'm not that hungry though, but uh, let's give it a try. I've had some terrible burgers here. If you watched the last video, we might know. It's all right. Sweet? No, it's not sweet. I, I give it like 2.5 out of 5, 3 maybe. It's all right, this is good. And there's a lot of salt, I like it. Wow, that, that was... Uh Amazing how stupid a human being can be. I'm so glad that I got it on camera What's gonna happen next is that we're gonna end the week by seeing a drone show near the river I really like these small alleys and small streets, especially on a Sunday. It's really cozy and silent There's a lot of people here man. Look at this Oh, let's get Amazing, don't you think? <laughs> that, that was amazing. I was impressed. Impressed. Yeah, it was pretty fucking good. I loved it. Yeah, that was uh, that was worth the walk. We had to walk for a little bit, but that was so cool. Yeah, the, these fucking Koreans are out here living in 2049 or something. Yeah, they really know how to put up a show. It was also a very good thing that we came here, the three boys. You know, like definitely not an activity you want to do with a with a girl, like a woman in your life. I don't think I've felt this alone in fucking years, man. <laughs> oh man. Let's pay a visit to the pirate ship 7-Eleven. I think the picnic culture is on a, on a whole different level. Like Seoul is definitely living in 2060 or something. So the usual thing is that there's like a river and then there's a boat and then there's a 7-Eleven or some other convenience store. And then you buy some, uh, maybe you buy some fried chicken or then you prepare the food here. There's like microwaves and hot water. And then you just go to the park and sit down. That's crazy, man. What do you think about it, Jacob? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Let's get some beer, you know? I decided to have a little evening walk. The Danish guy went all in. He decided to walk home from the Han River. That's like nine kilometers. I hope he's doing fine. I think it's time to wrap up this week and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next video. And if you have anything you want to see here in Seoul, just let me know in the comments and bye.